I don't really believe in littering. Of course, everything has its place. And it'll all biodegrade one day. As so will we. Littering to me is something you do with your thoughts. That outcome with your action. Some people need a cop or a firefighter to tell them what or what not to do. And of course, for some reason, we're not supposed to cut green trees. But Mother Nature seems to take its course. Some people call it beautiful, and others call it a tragedy. And for some reason, God gives us these series of events. It's not like we can take any of this stuff with us when we go, but we can enjoy it while we're here. Life is one big perspective based on a series of thoughts. Through right, wrong, or indifferent, the truth will always stir the spirit of action. So between me, God, and the devil, I just agree to disagree. Language and culture can be confusing, but most of the time, to our own kind. It's no riddle, the ones who love you the most are the ones that will hurt you the worst. We're all worth at least a million dollars from the day we were born. And the ones who love us can make us feel that way anyway. I guess if you don't believe that time equals money, then I guess you believe that money can't buy time. So you don't ever think I need to buy your love. And it comes from the bottom of my heart, from my blood, sweat, and tears. You want the truth? Everything else is lies and propaganda. And everything he said, she said is all hearsay anyway. I'm no bearer of bad news, but life is just one big opinion anyway. Just because you're active doesn't mean you're productive. Can't you even smell the coffee? It's like the government's got you trained. Of course you're mad at other people who try to enjoy their life. But don't try to convince me that you're not a slave. This may be what the TV screen looks like to 90% of the population, but I choose not to be a puppet on their screen. This is basically what Jesus said, only by the time the riot got there, not even one of his friends would back him up in God's name. The metaphor lies within each his own, regardless of whose book I got thumped by. God gave me this world too, that's why I call it home. So don't try and tell me you're gonna crucify me or I'll flip your tables. And I'll thump you with my book too, Holmes. So what's colorblind anyway? Well, you see here, son, it's just a perspective of race. So before they read my toe tag in braille, I like to laugh as I spit in their face. So before I lie to you and act like a friend, and then I'm at your grave just to piss on you. I tell it like it is, and I ain't afraid. Just because I love God more doesn't make me some kind of white supremacist. No matter what color you see when the final lights go out, your screen looks like this. May God strike me down if I ever claim supremacy. For the white devil lives in his swift, sick and swift, twisted ways he does. Some people call them 50 for 150s, for they may see a different doctor than you, whom of which they may prescribe a different drug. Now the blue molecule keeps them hooked, and the green one keeps them coming back, and the red one keeps them banging. May God grant the Illuminati the intelligence not to sheep us down like some mafia El Chapo Guzman, and cower away and cut off our nose to spite our faces. This placebo matrix effect you're living in that lies within your soul garnishes the wages of your own intelligence. Despite who you think you really are, you're only lying to yourself. So let's just face it, you're never really gonna catch that dragon. It's just a tolerance you build against negativity. Don't worry, it's only just intelligence that you waste. So you go to school, you let them thump you with their book, you let them tell you what to say. I don't care if it takes you that big of an operation just to think straight. Have you ever died before, man? Well, then you too, soldier, are lucky and realize how precious life can be a waste. I don't care if you're a cat and you got nine lives. My cosmic owl told me how precious each and every thought can be. So dedicate each and every thought to him because 
This could be your mind if you let it waste. Family, health, love, money, dreams, friends, career. In that very order, don't get it twisted. Life can be a gamble. We are all 50% custody to the devil. But don't forget, bro, you're 50% God, too. And most of the time, it's a lot harder not to get it twisted. And if that makes my God more badass than yours, so be it. I never tried to drag your leash to the water. Nor did I try to force you to drink it. But man, please don't drink that water out there. I once seen a ghost slam holy water with caffeine. Well, actually, a guinea pig needs girlfriend first, but... Ah, you know what I mean. They never call it a pipe dream when you're succeeding. Righteous thoughts seed righteous beings. I told him not to cut my mom's head open like a can of beans. The modern day gluttonist is today average, ordinary, everyday fiend. So if you need a doctor to prescribe you to what kind of drug you take, just go ahead and grab your ankles and cough and let Uncle Sam show you what he means. Yeah, we're just gonna crack your head open like a can of beans. We're gonna open your intestines and steal your spleens. This here size your lifeline. Sign here, here, and here, please. No, 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 not this one. This one is not for the scumbags with cancer. This is for the elite. Uh-huh, excuse me, what's that? No, 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 you see, this is my savior. It may look like the devil to you, but its secrets are for the elite. God will not come back on a white horse and grant you three wishes with presence and entice you with ignorance and half-truth. But every thought we choose wisely and destroy the devil with our words. God granted you good from each storm, yet you try all season no wonder it always rains. Nor God race on the devil, it's you who complains. I've got the loosest lips on the ship and I ain't never sink their complaint. 99.9% .9 of you may think I'm lying or it's some kind of metaphor. So listen here, ghost, if you're listening. Man, this is your riddle, I'm just saying.